So I want to do an example related to that secant cubed one that we just encountered. Uh, I'm going to, although we expect it's probably much worse, I'm going to try to generalize to this problem of, of what about just arbitrary odd powers of secant, right? Even powers, we, we know what to do, right? If you, if you have an even power, you split two of them off as a secant squared. All the remaining ones you just write in terms of tan. You do a u substitution and you're, you're off, you're good to go. Um, odd powers. For, for odd powers, it's hard to kind of do this directly, but you can derive what's called a, um, a reduction formula, a power reduction formula. There, there are a lot of these around, floating around. They generally come from integration by parts. Um, this is a nice opportunity to see one of these examples. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to apply the same tactic that we, that we used last time. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to write this as the integral of secant to the 2k minus 1. times secant squared x times dx, okay? All right, so 2k plus 1, if I add 2, I get, or 2k minus 1 added to 2 gets me back to 2k plus 1, so I haven't changed anything, right? So the idea here is we're, we're splitting off a secant squared, and you'll notice that we have the next lowest odd power of secant here. So let's, let's see what we can do with that. Well, what we're going to do going to integrate by parts. We're going to say that this is going to be u, this is going to be dv, okay? And so let's think about what is, so u is going to be secant to the power 2k minus 1, okay? du will be, chain rule says, 2k minus 1 secant to the 2k minus 2. And then we're going to take the derivative of the inside, right? Times secant x times tan x times dx. Okay, which is. Um, 2k minus 1 secant to the 2k minus 1. I can combine those. Tan x dx. Meanwhile, um, if dv is secant squared x dx, we know that v is going to be simply tan x. Okay. So what we get, uv, so we get secant to the 2k minus 1, okay, times 10, minus integral of v du. So here's du, here's v, right? So we get this, we get... 2k minus 1 secant to the 2k minus 1 of x tan times tan. Tan squared x dx. Okay? Just like last time, remember the trick that we used on secant cubed was the observation that tan squared from over there is secant squared x minus 1. Okay, so what we get is secant to the 2k minus 1 times 10 minus 2k minus 1 times the integral of, so this secant to the 2k minus 1 times secant cubed gets me back to secant to the 2k plus 1 of x, okay, minus secant to the 2k minus 1 of x. 
So we play the same game that we did before. We can take this integral, we can bring it over to the other side. So we have 1 plus 2k minus 1. What we get is this. We get uh, 2k times the integral of secant to the 2k plus 1 is equal to secant to the 2k minus 1 of x times tan x plus 2k minus 1 minus minus plus integral secant to the 2k minus 1 of x dx. Um, and then the last thing to do is we, we want to get rid of that 2k. So we divide by 2k. We divide by 2k. And we leave it here. Now the point is, right, I mean, we, we haven't obviously evaluated it all the way. I mean, how can we? I didn't tell you what k is. But you'll notice that what happens is the integral we started with is written in terms of another integral involving a power of secant, but the power is 2 less than the one that we started with, right? So once you know the integral, for example, for secant cubed, that means if I wanted the integral for, say, secant to the 5, right, what I can do is I have to say, okay, so first of all, 5. 5 is 2 times 2 plus 1, right? So k would be equal to 2 in this case. So I come over here and I say, okay, so secant to the 5x will be 1 over 4. Secant, so 2k minus 1 will be 3. Secant cubed x tan x plus, so 2k minus 1. So that's going to be 3. So it's 3 over 4. 3 over 4 times the integral of secant cubed, right? And if you've already done the integral for secant cubed, which we have, well, then you can substitute that in, and you have the integral for secant to the fifth. Um, uh, maybe we'll skip that last step because we're already running a little bit long in this video. Um, but with this, with this reduction formula, you can, in principle, generate uh, integrals for all the odd powers of secant. Um, once you have integrals for all the odd powers of secant, you, you can handle pretty much anything that comes at you. Um, but the only one that we didn't deal with would be an even power of tangent times an odd power of secant. So if I had something like, say, tan squared times secant cubed, well, what I'd have to do is I'd have to write that tan squared as secant squared minus 1, and then I'd have secant fifth minus secant cubed, right? So then I, I'd need to know how to do these integrals. Okay. So, um, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting exercise. Um, it's fun to play around with. Now that you have it, you can use it to generate these results, right? You could figure out secant to the fifth by plugging this in. Once you've got that, you get secant to the seventh. You want secant to the ninth, you can do that too.